This pretty privileged conversation is proof that the sisterhood is not really the sisterhood. If you don't know what's going on, there was a creator that made a video saying, pretty privilege is really just misogyny. People aren't treating you well just because you're pretty. They're treating you well because they want to do things to you. That's basically what she was saying. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all yeah, heard it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another one. Hit that like, subscribe, tick on that notification bell. That will let you know when I upload content. You know what we're going to do. Yep. Roll that clip. Another woman makes a video and says, well, how would you know? Because you're not part of the pretty privileged community. We in the pretty privileged community, blah, blah, blah. And the women in the comment section of both of these videos are basically telling these women that they are ugly. Mm. So how do y'all know what pretty privilege anything? How do y'all know? Y'all are not attractive. Y'all are not attractive. And what I find ironic is when I made a video, a video a few weeks back agreeing with a young lady who says, I know I'm not traditionally pretty. And I said, she's not pretty. She's an average woman, just like I'm an average woman. And we can have an average, beautiful life. What's wrong with that? Y'all were ready to fight me in the comment section because how dare I tear down another woman? How dare I tell her that she's not pretty? How dare you? Right? But now that it is somebody who thinks too highly of themselves, now y'all want to come in and humble that girl. Now y'all are in her comment se section talking about pretty well. But I thought that y'all wanted to support each other and encourage each other and build each other up. What happened? What's going on? And you see, the sisterhood is like a bunch of angry women. They just sit around all day and they complain about the plight that they put themselves in. He ain't lying. When have you ever seen a happy woman that is in the sisterhood? It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No, not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. When have you seen a married woman that is in the sisterhood? It's fiction. It's fiction. When have you seen an accomplished woman in the sisterhood? We made it up. We made this one up. It's a made up tale. You see, the sisterhood is no different than the cult of feminism, the cult of man hating, and the cult of delusion. Women will group themselves and identify with things just to be cool. Women will follow the pack. It's no different than like an antelope or a zebra. They follow the pack. Whatever one woman does, another woman will follow. Women are not independent thinkers. They don't think for themselves. They don't do things for themselves. They don't think strategically. They think emotionally. So if you're a woman and you're like, five women are in the sisterhood and I'm the only one left, that woman is going to go to the sisterhood because that's what women do. Women are followers. Men are leaders. He ain't lying. And when women are leaders, they're masculine women. I've been wanting to gain an understanding of exactly what is the sisterhood. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh God, fuck, fuck, fuck. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. Shit. Help, 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 help.
you know, the sisterhood, the collective of black women who are girls, girls, they support all black women. They encourage all black women. They want black women to succeed and have all the great things that they want in life. They are decentering men. They're focusing on themselves. That is the sisterhood. That is the sisterhood. And all women can be a part of the sisterhood until you don't agree with them. Yep. Until you decide that what you want is not what they want. Yep. Then you're a pick me or a pick Misha. And heaven forbid you have a difference of opinion. The sisterhood that is there to protect and encourage is the first ones to come in full attack. Calling your names, threatening your life, spamming your accounts. All the things that they say they stand against is the very first thing that they will do if you don't agree with them. And what I have realized after going through so many different lives, hearing so many different videos, they are group thinkers. If you do not think like the group, if you have an individual idea at all, you are now the op. You are a pick me, pick Misha. You are a jealous woman. You are hating on us just because you can't do what we do. And they will attack. And I don't understand if the whole purpose of being part of the sisterhood is to have support, encouragement, is to have protection. But you are going to be attacked by the sisterhood if they do not agree with you. I don't want to be a part of it ever. And I'm glad this sister pointed this out. You are only included when you agree. If you go against the sisterhood ladies, you will be excommunicated. And I've noticed that the sisterhood is no different than a religion. The only difference between an organized religion and the sisterhood is that sisterhood, the sisterhood is not a legitimate organization. The sisterhood is like a religion. It's a cult. It's where women that are delusional come to meet up with their delusional women friends and talk crap about men. But I'm glad this woman broke it down. If you don't agree, if you go against the grain, if you do anything that resembles holding women accountable, you are labeled as a pick me, a pick me, sure. They don't like that. They don't like it when women hold women accountable because women are supposed to stay on code, right? Y'all are supposed to stay on code with each other. So even if you see your girlfriend, your friend, your family member doing something they shouldn't do, and it's your job as a woman to not look at it, turn a blind eye, and defend her even when she's wrong. But if you take the man's side, because men, we think logically, we think critically, we think rationally, we don't think with our feelings. So if you start taking the man's side and calling out your girlfriends, you're going to be excommunicated from the sisterhood. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Come yeah. on. This is why so many women are delusional today. The sisterhood. The sisterhood is destroying women, relationships, marriages, and they're trying to destroy happy homes. Simone Biles is a good example of the dangers of the sisterhood. You're supposed to be congratulating this woman. However, you're trying to break her marriage up. You're trying to disparage this woman. But yet, the sisterhood is about camaraderie. It's about female empowerment. It's about women and women getting everything they want. I call BS. You're about keeping women miserable. The sisterhood is no different than a cult. A very bad one at that. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know when I upload content. And until the next video, peace. Nice.